Hi guys and welcome to a new episode of Building Genesis. The task this episode is pretty simple, not finished, but work on this awesome droid factory part, make this wall that separates the catacomb area with the droid factory higher, maybe add in some platforms, the site where we want some other conveyor belts etc. So yeah, this will definitely be a fun episode and I'll try to get as much progress done as possible on this awesome looking droid factory. Without anything further to say, let's get right into this week's episode of building Genosis. The first thing I did was recreating the door design that you can see in the catacombs. I wanted to use the same design in the droid factory just because I didn't really know what I would do in the droid factory, but using the same design works out perfectly because it looks pretty good. For that I had to destroy a big part of the wall, luckily it worked out pretty fine. Also included a little shot of me putting down those cone pieces on the flex tube just so you guys can see how I did the door design. that I went with the same door design it looks really good and I'm really happy and excited to continue building the next thing that I'll be building is a little balcony it's a nice idea I think to spice up the wall that separates the catacombs with the droid factory even more so yeah that's what I'm building right now that balcony area for the balcony I went for a snot design and made a really cool railing design using some rounded slopes. It looks really good and I'm really happy with how the balcony is turning out. I also included some snow bricks in the balcony just so I could attach the railing that I made. I also thought that the uh, underside of the snot balcony didn't look that good so I made a little sort of rock work with plates and some slopes to put underneath and now it looks way better. In order to attach the balcony to the wall I had to make the wall a bit higher so that's what I'm going to do next, build up the wall as high as possible until we ran out of bricks. Hi guys, I'm back with a little update. Like you guys can see, I made the wall um, also a bit higher over here. You saw this part in the time lapse, and now I made this part a little bit higher. But like you can see, it isn't as high as that part. That's because I've run out of bricks. That's really, really, really unfortunate. Um, yeah, like I still need to do one third or something bit higher probably something like this not that higher a bit higher than the minifigure but yeah still i need to make the wall higher and i'll have to order some more bricks and that's really 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 unfortunate um, it sucks a bit that i need to order more parts because it's really it's getting really expensive but hey guys this mock looks so good already that i'm uh, i'm prepared to spend more money on this but yeah guys like you guys can see i also installed the little balcony part and it looks so good it makes this area way more interesting than before um, the catacomb area with the door there and a balcony above it 
like I'm really happy with how this looks so far so yeah really glad that I came up with this awesome looking ID the next thing that we'll do is work a bit more on the droid factory and I'll also reveal my plans for uh, this side of the wall I also decided that I wanted a uh, not balcony but a big walkway up against the wall in the droid factory itself I'll be using just plates I think not really snot first I wanted to do snot but it's kind of hard to include lights in a snot structure so I am planning on making that with plates I also think that the underside of a plate doesn't look that good and I really want this mock to look really good so I decided that I wanted to make a sort of smooth platform that I could put underneath and that will function as the bottom part instead of just those ugly plates. I came up with a pretty simple design, just a rounded sort of tile, then some smooth tiles and also some vent pieces. So yeah, it looks pretty smooth and definitely better than the underside of a normal plate. To hang the underside of our walkway up against the wall to install it, I decided that I need to like kind of slide it in. First I tried to use some snot bricks but that didn't really work out. So I had to search for a system so I could just slide it in there. First I made a little sort of resting place where the plates itself could rest on and I also put some plates on top so I could just slide it in there like you guys can see in this sort of clip and like you guys can see it fits perfectly and it looks really good really glad that I came up with this smooth underside and now we can get back to designing the top part Like you guys can see I just got done with this awesome platform part, it slides in perfectly, or yeah, not really slides in, but you can put it on here perfectly, that's what I meant to say, like you guys can see, still need to push it, I know, but it looks like this really clean platform, I think, really nice, and the nice thing is that we can now install lights in here, um, so I'm really excited for that, light my bricks was kind enough to sponsor us uh, with this awesome starter kit and uh, I prepared some lighting like you guys can see here so I'm really excited to put that in there and uh, I'll get back to you guys when I've done that I also have an ID for this part here the last conveyor belt I not really the last one but the next conveyor belt I want to do here in the air so I'll make some sort of door design here um, and droids hanging on the conveyor belt so that's something really cool the sad thing that my, uh, is that my bricks are I've run out of bricks so I can't really build up this wall so it will look kind of ugly but hopefully next episode or the episode after we can completely finish it and it will look pretty beautiful but yeah now I'm gonna install the lights and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I've done that hi guys I'm back and you may ask why is it so dark that's just because I just installed our first lights in our Genosis mock and this is what it looks like there's still a little gap uh, I'll definitely fix it but this is what the lightning looks like and it's really really cool I'm really happy with how this part turned out uh, I have four lights left so one will be here above the droid factory, another one above the catacombs and two upstairs. But uh, I'll put on the big light so you guys can see again. Yeah, really cool. That's awesome. So yeah guys, this is what the platform looks like for now. Next episode we'll tile this off and make a nice railing design as well as work on this conveyor belt. And hopefully we can start building up this wall here. But yeah guys, I'm really happy with the progress so far, 
uh, this balcony area looks really cool the lights and the platform looks really good in my opinion i'm really happy with how it looks also really smooth at the bottom so yeah guys this was this week's episode of building genosis uh, it's a mess right here i'll have to clean up but um, thanks everyone for watching please subscribe if you enjoyed and uh, leave a like leave a comment do all that sort of stuff also this saturday the 10th of april we'll do a special community stream so if you want to join that stream feel free to message us and uh, yeah definitely be there and another last thing that i want to share is this really cool custom omv customs super tactical droid um, if you guys are interested in these bad boys definitely go check out our latest review video because they are really cool and worth the money so yeah feel free to check those out but uh, yeah guys thanks for being here and we'll catch you on the next one bye bye guys